Gents, we've seen Chelsea obviously come out in the news. Um, we're going to get onto their game a little bit later because that was fantastic last night. But obviously a big story over the last three or four days that they will comply with financial fair play. Predominantly because they sold two hotels for about £76 million. That will see them comply with... Uh, that There is around... It proved, by the way, I know a lot of Chelsea fans said it didn't exist. They've got to sell about £100 million worth of players. Uh, Lewis will go into that. We know a lot of their academy players are up for sale. They sold the the, the 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 hotels for around eighty, nearly eighty million. You start putting those two amounts together. Guess what? It nearly adds up to a pretty much a two hundred million pound black hole, as a financial expert said. Ornstein today has come out uh, with a statement and said um, uh, the fact that uh, two hotels needed to be sold, for example, to comply with financial player regulations of PSR. Uh, you've got to point out that Chelsea are compliant, and that is the bottom line here. So a lot of Chelsea fans read that, hear that, because uh, he spoke it on, on television and go, well, that's it. Our, our financial issues are resolved. However, the Times has put an article out today that stated that Chelsea's 76 million hotel deals are under scrutiny from the Premier League. And they state that the Premier League is yet to approve the valuation that it is within market value, that they're happy with every, everything that was done. Yes, Chelsea used independent valuers to help them get to that price. But some strong reports from the Times kind of contradict a little bit what David Ornstein has said, that it, there isn't a bottom line, it isn't over. But the big question still remains. They've sold assets to make sure they can, they're not going to get points deductions. Any business selling assets shows you that they're in trouble. Is it the bottom line, as David Ornstein said? Or if Chelsea don't improve next season, if they don't get back into the Champions League, if they have another poor stand, uh, season by their standards. Could they not just be in the same situation in the year's time, LB? Well, it sounds like it. I mean, the whole thing is just a complete farce. It is, isn't it? Like, it's just a complete and utter farce, yeah? They've sold hotels to the same guy that owns them, and then have got a management contract, apparently, according to Stefan. Um, so, Chelsea keep the, the, the revenue stream from it. So, they've sold the hotel, but are going to keep the money that comes in from the hotel or some shit like that. It's absolutely wild, man. This whole thing is just a complete and utter joke. Like... Apparently, this is banned as well in the EFL. You're not allowed to do this, but for some reason, the Premier League, like, I just got it in the rule book. Like, it's just, it's just ridiculous, man. Like, how, how can you have, how we got football so wrong? How we got ourselves here, where we've got a club that was about to breach FFP or PSI, yeah, and to get out of it, they sold themselves their own hotels. It's just, it's just. Wild, can, I ask you a, can I ask you a question, LB? Why are Chelsea allowed to sell? Why are the rules so that Chelsea can sell um, assets between co-owned businesses, related businesses, keep the revenue stream from that, but yet you're under investigation and facing 115 charges based on your owners and companies that he may be involved with pumping money into your football club? I, I understand technically on paper there'll be differences, but in reality, it's exactly the same thing, is it not? Yeah, but if City get found guilty of that, they'll be charged. But Chelsea are just doing it, and it's fine. Chelsea—they literally sold themselves a hotel. Uh, it's just ridiculous. Like <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just everyone's just like, yeah, yeah. It's just chilling. You know what I mean? Like if City get found to be guilty, they'll—they'll they'll get they'll get kicked out of the league. Mm. But but apparently City's City's isn't all right. But for Chelsea, they've sold themselves a hotel, and that's okay. Like how is how is how is people even thinking that this is? at all acceptable is wild it is just ridiculous they'll, man. Just say, they'll just say we found a loophole that's what they did last time we found a loophole and we'll be able to do it now chelsea football club are selling 40 towers and old basil 40 todd bowley is getting away with it it's absolutely crazy man like I, I i don't know this isn't football anymore man this isn't football this is just a ridiculous ridiculous thing and unfortunately this is what was always going to happen when money came to this level come into the sport and I think now people that were saying money's going to ruin it money's going to ruin it I think it has and you either just say now FFP no longer exists PSR no longer exists and we move on and just say spend what you want everyone crack on if you got it spend it it's your money you can or there needs to be some form of cap put in because you've got to do one or the other this is there's loopholes all over the place here if this is allowed to happen it's a madness really isn't it it's there's going to be loopholes everywhere though like listen we're, these football clubs are owned by billionaires. 
So if if they've got something that, that, that they're potentially going to breach on, like the financial regulations, they're going to go to the best accountants and the best lawyers. And by the way, there's nothing wrong with that. Because at the end of the day, if they want to, if they want to find a loophole, it's not cheating; it's a loophole, and they're going to say, "Find me a loophole where I can, I can avoid yeah. a breach." So, so I, I, this is the problem. When, like they're just going to constantly I, be. A new and when it loophole. comes to loopholes, when it comes to loopholes, it's all about interpretation and, and, and language, and it may not even be the word loophole is so broad. It may just be a case where the Premier League go, "Well, actually, we think they've breached that condition." Yeah, but if you listen to their argument, and if we challenge them and then they suit and then they take the court they've got the money to tie this up in court longer than we have so they end up they end up winning but what you'll see will happen now that chelsea have done this because what what someone sent me another quote from ornstein what he then goes on to say is that chelsea believe they're fully compliant as opposed to i'm telling you they're complete so a lot of people said ornstein has said we're compliant no he's reiterating that blue co leaders believe they are fully compliant for this next cycle and they may very well be but if the Premier League looks at this and other clubs look at this and say, you, you've got through that by the skin of your teeth, they will just all vote to change the law again slightly to cover themselves that that can't be done in any capacity. And this is why when Ornstein says, and that's the bottom line, don't take that as this is Chelsea over their financial issues. They're not. I'm not trying to put any fear amongst Chelsea fans. I, and do you know what, by the way, it's Chelsea fans that have come to me with this. This is what Chelsea fan messaged me earlier. He said, yeah, the bottom line, he said, Terry, the bottom line comment is so fluid. Improvement on the pitch has to be paramount going forward to avoid this. And that's the element that Chelsea fans have to remember. You're going to sell some players and you've sold th these assets to just about comply. You'll be like just about OK. You're then going to spend more money again to improve. If you then don't improve and half your academy players, most of your academy players have been sold and gone. The assets have been sold and gone. What's the next thing to save you? What's the next thing they're going to have to sell to ensure you're, 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 you're not avoiding this if you don't improve? And that is why it's fine what they've done for me. I'm not looking at it as cheating. I do look at this from fans ensuring their clubs are protected. Don't bury your head. I see some Chelsea fans in my group chat celebrating that they've done it. I went, you do understand that having to sell assets to remain solvent is a worry. It is not a good place to be in as a business in any way, shape, or form. Chelsea were amazing last night. They were absolutely sensational. They need far more of that. They start doing that on a regular basis, start going up the league, getting back. I mean, they've got to get back into the Champions League. And by the way, if they get back into Europe, they've then got to reduce their spending by, by 157%. That's how far they're over UEFA's current limits, which is huge. And all of this still needs to be addressed. But yeah, look, there, there, there is there is a report in, in the Times today. Viewers, I would say go and what I'll do. I, I, I do cheat, to be fair. I use 12 foot. You guys should watch. If you guys don't know what 12 foot ladder is, it's a brilliant website. Most of the newspapers that you have a subscription for, you just copy the link into 12 foot ladder and it bypasses the paywall. Um, So 12 foot ladder, because I ain't paying for the Times. I'm just going to read it. Read their article. They're a hugely credible, credible outlet. It's being looked at by the Premier League. This is their word. It's coming under scrutiny. The Premier League is yet to um, approve it, leaving the club facing an uncertainty over their compliance within the spending rules. Uh, it says the wholesale deal was a loophole that appeared uh, to have helped Chelsea avoid breaching PSR rules as it enabled the club to uh, claim a full sum uh, of income last season. However, in the 2023 account sign-off in December, a now filed at Company's House stated that the deal had not yet been assessed uh, had not yet been assessed to be of fair value under the League Association Party's transaction rules and that the conclusion may result in marginal change to that gain. So that's, again, what it officially states at Company's House. So again, Chelsea fans saying it's fear-mongering. That's not a, a journalist. I've got told a story. That's what it officially states. The Premier League haven't signed it off yet. And trust me, the other Premier League clubs are going to try and shut this down. So, well, well I'm, I'm just, I was just literally about to say, Terry, right? If you're Everton, right, or you're Forrest and you're looking at this, you've had points deducted, right? You've had points deducted, right? And, and both of these teams potentially might get relegated. You, know, you could be relegated out of the division and you're seeing another team in the division sell a hotel to the same person that owns the football club and then get a management contract. So not only have they sold the hotel, they get the money for the hotel, 
They then get the revenue from the hotel because that's what they've done. You're going to be absolutely fuming. Yeah. You're just going to, you just, you, this is, this is, this is not over. And, and, and Terry's right to point out that the Premier League apparently have not, and, and apparently are refusing to, to, to confirm whether or not this has been signed off. The, the document said it's not been fully assessed. You, 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 I'm telling you now, the clubs are going to be all over this. Yeah, you know I mean, so just because it's oh look at we we got through the loophole, you might have got through the loophole, but it's not over yet because the teams are going to fight this all the way. And and you can't you, and listen, Chelsea fans, you can't moan at it because you know you put yourselves in the shoes of an Everton fan, put yourself in the shoes of a Forest fan, you might get relegated and you've seen another team do what you've just done with with, with, with the points. And people say, oh, you're a City fan, blah blah. I've I've always maintained. City, if City found guilty, will probably be kicked out of the league. I ain't got no problem admitting that. You know what I mean, but mm. a lot of Chelsea fans I don't don't like speaking about the, the 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 truth. This is this is not over, man. Be interesting to see what happens. Well, Lord Zola here says Ornstein said on NBC Chelsea are compliant about five hours ago. He he, he did and he didn't. He said, and I'm going to quote him here: They blue co leadership believe they are fully compliant in the next cycle, the three years to the end of June 2024 cutoff. He didn't say they are compliant. He is stating that Chelsea are saying they're compliant, and that's the bottom line. He isn't making the assertion himself. And a few people saying that your source is bad, Terry. Listen, I'm going to trust what the company house official documents that your club has, your club uploaded them. Your club has uploaded them to company's house. They've come directly from Chelsea. It's not, it's not a source. Well, the source is Chelsea. <laughs> like if you go into company's house and look at anyone's business, it's what they upload themselves. So. Do you know what I'm saying? If, I, my company, if, if I get a hundred thousand pound loan from my business and my company trading account say Terry Fleurs has taken a direct loan of hundred grand, that source is cast iron because I've uploaded the document myself. Do you know what I mean? Um, How does Allstein know this? Do you know what I mean? Allstein don't know this. Well, this, do is, this is what I would say to che this is what I would say to Chelsea fans. The same media that are saying, "Oh, it's all great and gravy," are the same ones that said there weren't any financial holes a few weeks ago anyway, or they were quite small. Now they've said, oh, yeah, there was a 200 million uh, hole and it's been filled by selling assets. And I think, as Johnny Mineral says, brown envelopes everywhere. Like the the, yeah. meet, the journalists that are on Chelsea's side are going to push out like everything's OK. Wake up and smell the coffee and, and, and do your own research and protect your football club. Sometimes protecting your football club, you have to go against it. You can't be defending it. You have to you have to challenge. 